What's good, y'all? GVO Juju back with another video for you. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? Help this channel grow so we can reach the people it needs to. If you have any video suggestions, comments, or questions, leave them in the description below. Or you can hit me up on my socials. I'll leave them all in the description. You feel me? So, I've just come across a revelation that I felt like I have to share. When you hear the words, as within, so without, right? What a lot of us tend to feel as if it, we tend to think that when they say that the outer world is a mirror of the inner world, we tend to think that the outer world is a reflection of our immediate inner world. You feel me? So what we end up doing is we try to fill our mind currently in this present moment with love, but not the right type of love. We try to fill love with we try to feel love for this external reality. What I mean by this is, is that rather than looking at the external reality as the external reality, when it comes to really building the life you want, when it comes to understanding the as within, so without rule, you have to realize that this outer reality doesn't exist. You have to realize that when we say that, when those words are said, as within, so without, what it's saying is that we aren't supposed to be feeling as if this external reality is something separate from us. Because realize that there is no external reality. Something is external when we see out of these two eyes. So this chair that I'm sitting on is seen external of me. But what I have to realize is, what you have to realize is, I realize that this is a chair. I, ha I realize that everything around me is everything because of the thoughts that I have. Because I deem this as a chair. That means that it is a chair for me. You feel me? I deem this as a ceiling. I deem this as the sky. I deem this as the sun. Because something within me is telling me that it is the sun but if i were to look at it as something that internally if i were to view it as something as something that's dangerous something that i don't like that is when that external thing becomes something that affects my internal but when it comes to manifesting your vision when it comes to creating your world you have to realize that this external reality doesn't exist because it's my thoughts, it's my perception on everything that creates my outer reality. So rather than judging your emotions off your immediate external reality, when it comes to understanding that law of correspondence, you have to view the external reality as the vision that you've built for yourself internally. So let's say you have a dream let's say you have somewhere you want to reach right rather than viewing this external reality as not what i have in my brain you have to realize that i can literally create this reality that is external of me into the life that i want if i act as if i'm already there and the way you act that you're already there in your dream wherever your vision is wherever your dream is how to get there and create it into the external is you have to realize that because you feel it because you have that internal vision because you have that perception of you already being there whether it's whatever manifestation you have when they say visualizing when they say feel it this is what they're telling you because when you visualize something when you feel something that is when it's real because like I just said, this external reality doesn't exist. This external reality is simply a reflection of our perception of what we view it as. We view things as something. We view, uh, we view the sun as the sun. We view the trees as a tree because we think of it as that. That's what it means to, when they say our inner world creates our outer world, that's what it means. Literally, our perception of things, our perception of vision our perception of what we are right now our perception of our external reality is simply a reflection of the thoughts that we have made it 
You feel me? So when it comes to building that life, when it comes to understanding as within, so without, when you visualize something, when you dream of getting there, you have to realize that you are already there. You have to realize that when you visualize something, when you have that emotion, when you have that dream spot where you want to end up being, you have to realize that you are already there because you thought it. You have a perception that you are already there. Therefore, you are there because our perception of things is stronger than anything in this external reality. And we get so caught up in responding to our immediate external as something separate from us, as something that isn't coordinated to our vision. We, we view things that happen as something separate from us. And that's how we get caught up in stagnation. That is when we stay in the same spot we are because we view it as something separate from us. We view this external reality as something separate from us rather than understanding that the external reality is simply here to get me towards that internal vision. Because when we view the external as something one with our inner reality, when you view your thoughts and perception of whatever it is, when you understand how powerful your thoughts and your perception is, that is when you understand that everything in front of me right now is simply here to get me to that internal vision. That is when you become one with everything external of you. When you realize that everything external of me is not external of me because I am one with everything. You feel me? Realize that when they say you are a God, when people say, when the spiritual teachers say you are a God, it's because you have the power to, you are basically in the middle of your internal and your external reality. You have the, you have the ability to reflect and think on your internal reality, to create your outer reality. And you are so powerful to the point where when you view your external reality as one with you rather than something separate, that is how you build the life you want. Because now you realize that my thoughts, my perception of things, that vision that I have towards myself is real because all there is is my internal reality. And that is when your external reality starts to mirror the internal. That's what it means as, as within, so without. You have to view this external reality as you have to stop viewing the external reality as something separate from you that is how you build the reality you want you have to stop looking at the situation that you're in right now you have to stop looking at whatever is happening outside of you something that is happening with these two eyes you have to stop viewing these two eyes as your only vision because you have to realize that the things that make the outside what it is, is in here. You feel me? So you have to stop living off external situations only. You have to realize that the external situation that happens of me is for that vision that I have of myself. You feel me? You have to stop looking at it as something separate. You have to stop viewing things as positive and negative because there's only one vibration. It's only love. Think of it. Think of it like this. In your vision, where, where you, uh, imagine yourself where you are exactly where you want to be. Imagine that dream version of yourself. Imagine what you are where you are already. Have that vision, right? What do you feel? When you're there, when you're in that house, and when you're in that car, when you have that dream love, that dream house, whatever it is that you dream of, when you are there, what do you feel? You feel an abundance of love and gratitude because you reach that place that you dream of, right? But understand this, because you have that vision, you have to understand that that dream version of yourself is all there is because your inner reality, that thought, that emotion that you put towards it means that it is real. Think because all there is in the external world, right? All there is, is that our emotions, the significance that we put on external things, the ideas, the perception that we have of external things is simply something that was already ingrained into our internal world. So that image that you have of yourself, you have to start 
viewing everything external of you as if you were already there. And that is how the external world is mirroring that internal world, you feel me? That is how you get there in this external world. You have to start acting as if everything around you is simply a reflection of that world that you built for yourself because it is. You have to start viewing this external reality as something separate from you because there is no external reality. Everything is what we make it. Everything is what we make it. Our thoughts, our perception makes this external reality literally. You feel me? All right. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I have to keep on meditating. These thoughts are just coming into me as I'm talking. And this just crazy, bro. I love y'all. GVO Juju signing out.